Hey everybody, Kyrie 91 hanging out with you. Boy oh boy, are we going to have some big fun today playing Final Fantasy 2. As you may recall last time we left off we were looking for a... Uh, uh, boom. Okay, we weren't looking for a boom. Uh, we were looking for some ninja prince guy. Who was apparently in this cave. This path that leads up to the Tower of Goodness Gracious. Not the Tower of Goodness Gracious. It leads to the Tower of Babel. And that's what we're trying to, uh, we're trying to find this guy. His egg's gonna hatch maybe into a Lamia? Yeah, Lamia. Come on. Anywho, so we're looking for this prince guy. And, oh, look what you've done, Rydia. You made that happen. Good thing the is dead, so it doesn't matter. Anywho. So we're looking for some ninja prince fella. And, uh, yeah, we're heading into the Tower of Babel. Hey, look at this. This looks like a ninja prince. Of course, we're going to have to fight real quick. Boom. All right. Finish it off, Cecil. Finish it. Thank you. It was done. So, thank you. Thank you, Rosa. Thank you for learning Cure 3. It's about friggin' time. 28, huh? All right. There's a couple more important spells I'd like to see Rosa learn pretty quick here. Hey, Rubicant. I was waiting for this day. Have I met you before? Eblin's Prince Edge. Okay, so apparently this dude's name is Edge, and he's the prince, and he's a ninja. Well, there's Rubicant, and Edge is going to fight him. Good, good on you, Edge. Good luck, buddy. Oh. Well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, Edge is casting a spell called Flame. Well, that looks pretty cool. Oh, it healed Rubicant. Uh-oh. Was it Flame? Yes, it was. I will show you how. Well, that's nice. Uh-oh. Glare? Whoa, Edge, you are dead. I'm glad it was Edge fighting and not us. Blast you. No match for me. Challenge me after you become strong enough. Well, Rubicant seems kind of classy. I mean, he didn't kill him. He just beat him up real bad. After Rubicant for his crystal. Okay, not gonna comment on that. Alright. Take care of myself. No eh, more, I've had enough. Tella, Yang, and Sid. All dead. What about Palom and Porum? Oh, I don't think Rydie ever met Palom and Porum, huh? Rubicant is the strongest of the four fiends. We still gotta recover the crystals. Work together on this. Cure two. Good work, Rosa. Good work. Ha! I wonder how Edge feels about having the same music as Sid. He doesn't even get his own music. He gets to share music with Sid. Everyone else has, like, their own song. Ether 2. All right. Oh, let's check out Edge. So, Edge. Well, you got a co oh, two swords. I like that. And well, he's looking pretty sharp. Let's see. And he's got ninja spells like flame. All right. Moving on. Tower of Babel. Tower of Babel? Oh, man. I don't want to go back here. I hate this place. All right. Dart. What's this all about? I guess we know what we can do with those shurikens we found. Wow, dude. Okay. Well, you guys are asking for some Titan. Titan up! 
Do they counter with virus like every time you do anything or what? Cause that's lame. The Titan Auto Insurance. Come on. Come on, Rydia. I want to see who's still alive after this. Help to strategize a little bit here. Who's still alive after that? Like anyone still alive after that. How are we going to get in? Here's how we're going to get in. There you go. Hey, I don't want you in the front. You can push uh, R to cycle through the players. I always keep Cecil in the front. I guess I could have Kane if I wanted to. Doesn't really matter. Boom! It was done. Edge, right, yeah. Rosa, Cecil, there we go. Alright. Man, I don't know. I don't know why I don't like the Tower of Babel. I don't mind, like, this part of the game in general, but... Oh, goodness. I'm not fighting these guys. I just don't like having so many random battles. Like, I understand random battles, and I get why you gotta do them and all that. I just wish that there were fewer of them in Final Fantasy games. I feel like, especially in the early ones, they kinda got carried away with random battles. Do I want to go get that treasure? I don't. I don't even care. I don't even care about that treasure. I'm going to go over here. I want to get this treasure. This one's a pain. Alright. Boom. It was done. 1500 experience. Alright, now this... This fight, if I remember correctly, can be a real pain. So let's heal up a little bit before we attempt it. This is a monster's treasure box. And you can, like, look at it and see that you're going to be in for something kind of lame. Just by I mean, look at where the chest is positioned. Obviously, this is not going to be, like, a Cure 2 potion or something. So, alright. Look at this. Look at this. Four. Four ogres. Okay, jump. Um, just have him attack. And, as I recall, Mist worked on these guys in the last while. Wow. That was a nice critical hit for 300 there. Okay. That was cure to everyone. There's Kane. Hi, Kane. Alright. Okay. Let's see how that does. That didn't kill anyone, but... They should be dying shortly. Come on, guys. Time to start attacking stuff. Not ogres. Us. Our guys. Not them. They already attack enough stuff. I can't jump on the guy in the back. Oh, jeez. Had right to attack. What a waste of a turn. But if I remember correctly, the prize you get from this from this fight is actually really good. If I remember correctly, and I may not. Because sometimes I don't. Alright. Okay. I guess we're not doing too bad for levels, because Rosa just learned Cure 3, and this is right around the part when... I'm expecting Rosa to learn Cure 3. I think. I don't really remember. A lot of experience. Good stuff. Ogre Axe. Alright, let's see how that does for Cecil here. Ogre Axe. 94. Okay, so it's better. Worth giving him. Alright. Moving on. I probably should have healed Kane one more time, but okay. Glad Kane's a good guy again. It's kind of lame throughout that portion of the game when Kane's a jerk. I'm glad that's over. Egg. Uh, we'll jump. Uh, and then we'll have you. Come on, break the thing open. 
Alright, let's see what we get. Another Lamia? How Lamia? Like I'm worried about stupid Lamia. Oh, great. Cecil's charm. Kane! There you are. Get over here, Cecil. 400 experience. How Lamia. Alright. Onward! B3F. Oh, my gravy. Do I want to wanna fight these guys? I just don't know. I just don't know how I feel about this. Boom. Look at that. Look at how hard Cecil can hit these stupid ogres. Oh, come on. Boom. Do you know what happens to a blade man or sorcerer that gets hit by Titan? the same thing that happens to everything else. Hey, Cecil gained a level. Hey, Kane gained a level. Hey, Edge gained a level. See how many levels you gain when you actually start fighting stuff? Alright, I thought this was going to be a friggin' save point. That's why I've been blowing through my MP. Alright. Guess I gotta cure up here before we move forward. I think only Kane really needed it. Sometimes. Okay. We're going down the tower now. We're not... The other time we passed through it, we were making our way from the base of the tower up to the top. Now we're going from the top up on the overworld down to the bottom. Boom! Of course it was done. Nobody can handle that Ogre X. Nobody. Alright. Yeah, the fight actually didn't go over too smoothly. Cecil got charmed by the stupid Lamia. And the stupid Lamia made Cecil hit stupid Rosa. So, yeah. Alright. Ooh, a middle sword. Well, it's got to be better than the short sword, right? Middle sword. Yeah, it is better. Of course it is. Why are we going back up? Supposed to be going down. Yeah, I don't want to fight these guys. I just don't care. I just don't want to fight the stupid balloon guys that blow up. Hey, it's that teleporter thingy. That Rubicant was using. Strike first on an egg? Well, I don't know what good that's gonna do us, but okay. What do we got? Lamia. Oh, okay. We're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna let Kane jump on it. Boom! It was done. Rydia gained a level. Good stuff. How long till Rosa gains a level? I want Rosa to start gaining levels. 700, not bad. There's a save point. Actually, I probably should go ahead and use the tent before I save it. Dude, I'm almost... I'm, that was my last tent. Holy guacamole, I, I gotta start buying tents. I probably didn't even fill up right as MP. Didn't think so, huh? All right. And that's all of that that I'm gonna do. And then we'll save it. I'd really like to finish this stupid tower right now. Kind of. Oh, God dang it. Nope. No, thank you. Not a back attack. Thank you very much. There we go. What's in here? Oh. Good stuff. Alright. I'm glad I went this way. The other way was a total dead end. What's up here? Ah. Look at this. King of Eblin. Edge. So the king and queen of Eblin are down here. Oh, that's cool. 
Come with us to the to the dark world. Oh great. Oh boy. Down to the Hades. Well, I guess we're going down to the Hades, guys. Let's get going. Let's see what's going on down in the Hades. That sneak option that Edge has, it steals stuff. But honestly, I don't think there's anything terribly great to steal in this game. I'm not going to say that for sure. Dad, Mom? Yes, Dad and Mom. Edge's mom is hot. Alright. I think I'll burst up Edge because I really don't imagine I'm going to have him do anything but attack in this fight. I guess I might have wanted him to, like, throw a sword or something, but... Well, we're going to go down to the Hades, guys. Should be a good time. No, 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 no. It's me, Edge. They should know their son well enough to know that he's not a fan of going to the Hades. That's just like one thing a parent should really know about their kids. He's all, it's me, Edge, as he hits him. Hey, what's going on? They became conscious. Uh-oh. Well, we're casting Titan on them, so I hope that's okay. I hope Edge doesn't mind that we're about to tighten his parents right now. There you go. Edge, listen. <laughs> as we're as he hits him for 900 we're no longer human yeah I can see that <laughs> I don't know we must not live I don't know I, it's a sad moment I'm trying not to laugh about it too much but Edge just keeps on Edge just keeps on attacking him cuz they're cuz he's burst. That's all he can do. Just keep everyone else is just like standing here calmly. Well, we're uh we're waiting for them to finish talking and Edge just won't quit hitting them. Oh. <laughs> 900. He's hitting them pretty good too. Take care, Edge. Adios, bud. There you go, Mom. There's some for you. No! Please! Don't die from the wounds I'm inflicting on you. Oh, boy. Goodbye, Edge. Man. Grah! Hey, it's Rubicant. Hey, buddy. Lugay turned your parents into monsters. I apologize for that. I'm not like the others, you see. I want to play fair. How brave, but you'll never gain real strength as long as you are swayed by emotions. I'll show you the power of anger. Rage drew out Edge's hidden powers. Edge acquired Flood and Blitz. Alright. Restore you to full strength. Fight with all your might. Oh boy, is this it? Are we going to fight Rubicant? And he healed us. What a nice guy. Okay, let's do it. Deal with this, Rubicant. Flood. Flame didn't seem to do much to you earlier. Flood will probably work. 
Ooh, there's that glare thing again. Wow, dude, that packs a punch. Wow, Kane's jumping packs a punch. Alright. I don't think I'll be able to get that done fast. Alright. Um, let's bring him back. I wonder if Shiva is going to heal Rubicant because his cloak is closed. It might. It actually might. Let's see what happens. Son of a bitch. Okay, open your stupid cloak up so we can kill you. Ba, ba. All right. Should I switch Cecil over to the Ice Brand? I think so. Ice Brand. Eat Ice Brand! Dude, that freaking jump really packs a punch here. Oh boy. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I'm afraid to cast Ice too, because I'm afraid he's going to close his damn cloak before I hit him with it. Dude, he really does not like Edge. Makes sense. I don't really care for Edge. Yeah, of course you're going to close your freaking cloak because you're an a-hole. I wonder if uh, Kane's jump can still hurt him even when his cloak is closed. Let's find out. Nice. Good old Cecil. Apparently the jump does just fine. Still did almost 3,000. If I cast Ice 2 now, are you going to open your cloak up so I can hit you with it? Yes, you are. Ice 2, incoming. Bum bum. Ba. Ba. Rum ba. Do do do. Cure 3. Maybe. I'll just do Cure 2. Yeah, that was good enough. Oh no, not Kane! I kind of needed Kane. All right, Kane, need you to come back to life, buddy. That's enough sleeping. You know Rubicant's name in the uh, the. Rubicant's name in the Italian folklore stuff is just Rubicante with an E at the end. So it's pretty much the same name. But let me tell you what, man. He's about a bajillion times harder. I remember fighting him in, when playing hard type. And it's a whole different experience, man. Like, he's, you know, he's kind of tough right now. He's not, like, super easy or anything. But, dude, he is straight up redonk in the hard type version. Let's see if we can get this Ice 2 done before he closes his stupid cape here. Son of a frick! I guess we're not getting that Ice 2 done. Oh no, Rydia was dead when we killed him! Here's why that sucks, because now Rydia is not going to get the experience for killing him. I mean, I'm glad we beat him, but come on, dude, that kind of sucks. There's that 6,000 experience Rydia didn't get. Rosa got it, though. That's cool, I guess. My Golba has had a hard time. Farewell. I think we killed Rubicant. Alright. Well, his little fire thing went out there. Good work, Edge. Your Highness. Not your Highness. Where's Rubicant? He's dead! Oh boy. The moon for the power is reaching the moon for the power. All right. Besides, I don't like that guy. Go back to Evelyn. 
Please take care of our prince. Okay. So apparently Dr. Luge is the one that messed up Edge's parents, not Rubicant. Rubicant seems classy. Alright. Let's uh, bring Rydia back because I don't know what is going to happen up here. I need to save point. I need to save it. I, I kind of feel like maybe I should go back and save it. Alright. This has got to be the crystal room, right? There they are. We got the crystals back. Pitfall. Oh. Of course, we were that close and we have to fall on a stupid pitfall. And we should have gone back and saved it. Fall into the underground. A fall which you think would have hurt us really badly. Nope. No, thank you. We just killed Rubicant and you guys still have the balls to come up and attack us like you're something, right? No, I don't want to get in any more fights. I don't care. We're running away. I don't care. I don't care. Alright. Man, we're kind of way down there, huh? There's a good looking treasure over here. I'm going to go get this. God, this just a stupid gear, too. I don't care about fighting these guys. I just want to run away. Thank you. Wow, Radia needs to be healed. Alright. Healed Radia. I'm really running out of time here, but I gotta get to a save point before I can quit. So, let's see what we can do here. Well, what's this big room all about? Huh. Ha! Huh, an airship! Okay, so we got we found an airship. Cool tools. Let's call it Falcon. Okay, so we got an airship that we're calling Falcon. You get a lot of airships in this game, huh? You get the hovercraft, you get the uh, the Enterprise. Now we have the Falcon. Oh, that's right, and we're in the underground but unfortunately we're trapped down here because as you may remember Sid blew the uh, the opening shut up there let's go to the dwarf castle but we got to save it and end the episode here so yeah that was fun um let's see how we can figure out what we're gonna do next maybe try to get some crystals back do something like that uh, and we'll do that all next time on let's play Final Fantasy 2 thanks for watching okay yeah.